So you just got rejected. You just got denied. You just got deferred. You just got broken hearted. You just got let down. All of those things are a normal feeling. It's okay to feel that way and sometimes it's hard to deal with rejection. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a few ways to make yourself feel better and how to kind of deal with rejection. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey my name's Danielle and if you do want to join this Dan fam, subscribe down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So I'm a senior in high school and I have about as much knowledge as that can get, but living for 18 years I have dealt with being rejected, with being denied, with being deferred from colleges because I'm in the college process now and it's really hard. It's, it's something that it's just bound to let you down. Like it's, it's easy to get your hopes up. It's so hard not to get yourself down when you get rejected from something or if you don't get the job that you want or whatever it is, it's so easy. We all think, oh, I'll be able to handle it when it happens, like, let me just go for it. It's hard, no matter what, it doesn't feel good and we take it personally. I've been through some experiences lately that got me down at first and then I was like, no, I need to bounce back, let's do this, let's handle this the right way. So I've done some inner self thinking and I've also just done some research and looked at articles and I came up with a couple tips that I have for you guys to kind of deal with rejection, whether it is being deferred from a college, being denied from your top college, being not getting the job that you wanted, maybe being rejected by someone that you like, you know? Whatever it is, this applies to it all and I hope it can help at least one of you guys. So I just got the mom a handy dandy computer right here. Please don't mind this, I just, I don't have them on my phone right now, so. I wrote this, I wrote these on the airplane coming home from New York, so yeah, I got some three main pointers for you guys, let's just get started. Tip number one is do not let it define you. If you've ever questioned whether this rejection makes you good or bad, then you're probably letting this rejection define you. And I know you probably hear that a lot, like don't let it define you, don't let what they say about you define you because you're you. And I know I hate cliche things, but believe it or not, those cliche things are said all the time because they are so true. Just like everything happens for a reason, that's another one that I think is just really big and awesome. I was deferred from a college that I'm really, really, really interested into, and it was really hard for me. I was deferred from a college that I really, really, really want to go to and that I fell in love with and I thought I belonged there and I still think I belong there. And so when I got the letter that I was deferred, and deferred means that you're not denied and you're not necessarily waitlisted, you're just going into a secondary round of review. Essentially they just want to learn more about you and want to look more into your application. They're not saying no. A lot of people get deferred and then get accepted. It just, it just hurt. It, it's, it was hard for me to see that because it was just like, why? Like, what did I do wrong? You know, it's, it, you do take it personally and you do let it define you and it's so hard not to. If you think about it, let's say if you're applying for a job and you interview, these employers are interviewing many, many, many candidates. Or if you're applying to a college, they're looking at thousands and thousands of applications and you might be just as qualified as Sally and Jane but there's only so many spots and at the end of the day they're gonna have to pick someone and for who knows what reason they picked and maybe it was just because oh they live in you know you never know the reason that they picked but you can't let it define you because I know even me I'm I am in lots of leadership positions at my school and I've had to pick people to do things and at the end of the day both people are qualified it's just finally you just have to choose one maybe I literally just close my eyes and pick a name you would never know there's so many other people involved in this situation especially when it comes to college applications they all they see is your name and your essay which is probably amazing and your transcript or anything but when there's not even an interview like they don't even get to meet you and it's it's hard you know there's only so much that they can do and I completely understand that like there's so many people applying and they're trying to do their best to read application in the most wholesome way that they can but it can be difficult so you can't let this define you the biggest lesson out of this first tip is to not put all of your worth in the hands of this other person or this other thing that you are wanting because then you will get let down in the end even if you do get it if you put all of your worth and all of your hope like I will only be happy if I get this job I will only be happy if I get into this college you will get let down either way. If you do end up going to that college and it's not what you expected, then you're like, wait, like what am I doing with my life? And you'll just get so let down. And then if you put all of your worth into this college that you really, really wanna go to and you don't get in or you get deferred, 
then you're just going to get yourself down and you're going to be really upset at yourself when in reality it's not worth it. Just keep working hard and keep working on you. Don't look back. For a few days maybe after you might be really down on yourself and just upset and you're just like what even is worth it? Like why do I even bother? Why should I bother even working hard anymore? You still have chances. Don't take this as an opportunity to just bum around and just chill out. Go forward. She believes she could so she did. He believes he could so he did. Keep going. Keep working harder. Like you're just gonna regret it in the end. Like, don't take no for an answer. That's my motto. I do not take no for an answer. I keep going. I, when I got that college deferral letter, I was like, okay, fair, fair, but I'm still gonna come towards it. And if I don't get in for some reason, then it's it's truly not meant to be, but I'm gonna put my best foot forward and show them what I really, who I really am. Tip number two is don't hype it up too much. No matter what the job or the, the college or the person or whatever it is, that you're really wanting or that you really like, everything has drawbacks. Don't place it upon a pedestal because you will just get let down in the end, like I said. If you weren't chosen for a job that you wanted, or if you weren't chosen for a college that you really wanted because you weren't a good fit for them, or it just wasn't what they're looking for or whatever, that's probably meaning like they're not a good fit for you either. If they're not seeing your true potential and they're not seeing how great of a person you are, clearly you guys wouldn't be doing well together and maybe it's just not working out the way you want it to and that's really hard to deal with but when I saw that I was like wow that's so true like if this college isn't seeing your true potential and seeing who you really are for a person then maybe it's just not meant for you either but that also doesn't mean to like bash them by any means it just it's so you can kind of understand it better and just keep working harder and if you put your best foot forward and you keep continuing getting good grades or whatever it is and you get denied or you don't get in or whatever it is then you know you did your best, but you're just not meant to go there. You're not meant to have that job. Tip number three is get good at rejection. And you're probably like, what? Like, I'm not trying to make rejection a common thing in my life. Well, if you wanna be an entrepreneur, if you wanna be anything creative, if you wanna put yourself out there to improve your life, you're gonna have to learn to face rejection. No matter what. These people, like, who, what was it? Thomas Edison that invented the light bulb? tried what like a thousand times or something to get that right I, I that's probably the wrong number but what i'm saying is you're gonna face hardships if you're trying to do something that no one else has done before or if you're doing something that you've never done before for yourself you can't expect it to be that easy i mean maybe you'll get lucky and be like yes you're in or yes you've got the job or yes i want to be your boyfriend or whatever it is like i don't know um, it's gonna be hard so if you're gonna put yourself out there you have to expect rejection but this isn't saying oh if i'm gonna expect rejection that i shouldn't put myself out there that's not true. Putting yourself out there is the best feeling ever, and especially when you put yourself out there and it works out, it's even the better feeling. So there's like, a, there's like a chance that yes, you might get rejected and it might not work. So what, go back, fix it or improve it or come back at them and show them what you really feel about this. Or you have the chance that you will have worked so hard and put yourself out there and people react so well to it or colleges react so well to it or whatever it is and that is the best feeling ever you guys I remember one time I proposed this idea to one of my clubs and I was so nervous about it I was like no one's gonna like it and everyone loved it and it worked out so well and it changed things for the better and it made me so happy and if I hadn't raised my hand and brought this idea up and it was kind of a weird idea and it was very different it wouldn't have probably happened and now my school's gonna continue this tradition like that's so cool to me and and it makes me so happy so it is a really fulfilling feeling if you do put yourself out there, but you have to remember that when you are putting yourself out there, people are probably gonna reject you sometimes just because it's an idea that they've never heard before or it's something that they're not used to or whatever it is, like no matter what. If you go on stage and you're performing, like you have to be willing to possibly perform in front of a very bland audience, you know? Like sometimes you, let's say like I'm in the drama department, some nights of our fall play, people would laugh the whole show and it was like, yes, but then some nights, you know, people weren't as, People were a tough crowd, you know, and that just happens, but you have to be willing to deal with that and just continue to push forward. If you guys think about it, if things went as smoothly as we wanted them to in life, we wouldn't learn half as much as we do. We wouldn't gain character. We wouldn't become the people that we are. We would just be so used to everything going our way and you wouldn't learn anything and it makes you a better person because of it and it makes you kind of learn more about yourself. So those are my three tips that I have for you guys. I really hope that they helped. I believe in you guys. You got this. I love you guys so much. Let's do this together. 
keep putting your best foot forward, keep pushing through. If you get rejected, it is not the end of the world. It happens to everyone every day. It's not just you. Don't take it personally as the biggest thing. Like if your friend gets into a school that you didn't get into, which is hard, it's hard to deal with, but just remember everything happens for a reason. You are worth it. I promise and I love you guys so much if you ever want to talk you can um, comment down below and I'll try and respond to you guys or tweet me or whatever it is DM me I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time for my next video bye guys